and welcome to and so much more. My name is Cami Smith and I'm your host um, and I have the pleasure of sitting here with Tab Culbertson. She is our president of Lynchburg General Hospital and then here at Virginia Baptist Hospital where are we are getting to enjoy this beautiful day and you can only see this little glimpse of it but this building is gorgeous. The architecture which I know we're kind of celebrating this month as a theme is beautiful. Like, do you get to come here every day or are you over at LGH? I come here usually on Fridays. I'm okay. typically at LGH Monday through Thursday, but yes, this is such an amazing, it's amazing so place. It's so nice. Anytime that we get to film over here, we filmed in one of the courtyards over there and I don't know, I feel like I'm stepping into a period drama or something. <laughs> it's actually really beautiful. Um, and we're actually talking about the history today because it is our centennial celebration the 100 years of Virginia Baptist. And we've talked so much uh, from January up until now about a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. um, but I want you to share a little bit because you've been kind of at the core of the, the planning and the celebration. And so tell us a little bit about the centennial like planning, celebration, all the things that have come together. Sure, well, Kimi, it's a team effort, mm -hmm. definitely. And I mean, just as I sit here, I want you to just think about all the things that have occurred here Can't in this- even imagine. Here in this facility, all of the memories, yeah. you know, that these, that these walls hold. You know, I mean, think about just people walking up and down the steps, like being excited because their family member is getting ready to have a baby. Yeah, you know, I mean, think about the the worry and anxiety sometimes that you face. You know, waiting on test results. You know, the the anxiety that um, comes when you have a loved one that's that's ill. Mm -hmm. But then think about that that joy when someone's being you know released from the the hospital and they're healed yes. and they're and they're whole. You know, I'm just I'm just in awe really yes. about about everything that occurs here. So, you know, also think about the relationships that have occurred here. That's a fun fact. There's a lot of really? people that have met and been married here. Yes, yes. I love that. Yes, that's a Aww. lot of a lot of I mean of that history. makes sense. Yeah. You probably imagine you spent a lot of time yes. here, whether you're a patient or a physician or a nurse or Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. But no, we've we've been planning our celebrations. Actually we started more towards the beginning of last year, if you okay. can imagine. And we really wanted to make every month something special because we know although the facility is turning 100 years old on july 12th it's not just about that date and there was so much yeah. that we wanted to to celebrate and so january we celebrated all of the first and i have some fun facts i'll share yes. with you here in a second um in february we celebrated black history month in march we celebrated all things physicians okay in April, we celebrated our nurses and our nursing school. And fun fact, Kim Price actually is one of the last graduated of the last graduating classes in 1984 of oh, the nursing I school here. And she's here. She's only ever worked here her entire career. Oh. So that's awesome. And May is born at Baptist. Mm -hmm. Kimmy, how many one. how many babies do you think that we've had born here? I can't even imagine. I mean. My two are a part of that really? very large number. Yes. And every time we drive by, they're like, that's my hospital. It's just the cutest thing. But I can't, I can't imagine. So almost 150,000 oh babies goodness. have been born here over oh. 100 years. See, I love that. We had a conversation with um, Dr. Travis Ingle. Yes. And he talked with such passion about, the, like, kind of to that point mm -hmm. like so many babies have been born yes. here and we get to be a part of that like our nursing team our physicians the neonatal clinic yes like, they, they see that as like a not oh this is my job i have to do it it's no i get to be a part of each of these families huge moment yes and i love that when you think about how many times that happens and it's still so special every time. It is, it is. And now we have June, so we have 12 months to go through. <laughs> we, we got a lot, we got a lot. We really like to celebrate. <laughs> yes, so June, we wanted to do an um, homage to the museum, the architecture, yes. and that's something that if you come to the event, we'll have that museum open, so that'll be okay. amazing. Um, July is the event itself, and I'll go over that here in a second. Okay. Um, August is summertime fun. So another fun fact, we used to have a pool here. Can you imagine? Wait, where was it? Yes, it was 
sort of back here behind Where that but, courtyard is? yes i've never known a pole to be at a hospital i did not either so that's probably back in the day when you were smoking in the hospital and everything <laughs> else you know i mean we've we've just grown so much take a little dip on your lunch <laughs> break little, you know, oh that would have been wonderful <laughs> <laughs> so that's august september is um a an homage to our volunteers because okay. without them you know we we could not do a lot of things that we do october is all things food so that'll be awesome. Okay, uh, yes. teaser. Tell me about the. Well, I won't. I won't. Fin you got to finish your celebrations. But yes. The recipe book. I'm yeah. really looking yes. forward to that. Like, think about all those recipes over the 100 years and, and different imagine. meals that have even been served. You know, as a patient yes. along the way. So there'll be special themes in October. So be oh, on the good. lookout for that. <laughs> and then November is going to be the month of gratitude. So okay. think about all of our caregivers who um, have worked for so long within the mm -hmm. facilities, not only the people that still work here, but all of the people that have retired from here. So, you know, again, we're going to recognize and celebrate them. Yeah. And then December, you know, everyone knows that we always ha light up the hospital here yes. in the front. It's always so beautiful so and so many different Christmas traditions. So we'll honor that in December. Yes. I always hope that we get snow because this building in particular, it just looks so dreamy. It does. In, when it, it's got a good blanket of snow. I, I just love it. It does. So, so what cool. has been your favorite month so far? Well, I think the favorite month is still to come. Okay. And, and that's going to be in, in July when we actually have, have the event. Yes. Yes. Celebration time. Yeah, the celebration time. Okay. Um, now, the celebration, it, like, we're sitting here right now. Sure. It's hot. It is but hot. But it's gorgeous. Like, I don't know. There's so much shade. I think about this huge celebration happening out here. Um, I love a summer celebration. Yeah, it's gonna, <laughs> so it's gonna be nice. What's it's gonna, it gonna be, be out Tell here me. on the front lawn, July 12th from 11 to 1. Very sophisticated. Um, yes. We're gonna have a, a lemonade bar with nice refreshments, um, lovely hors d'oeuvres for that first 45 minutes or so we're going to have some speakers and okay. I'd love to share with you um those speakers yes please give me a second <laughs> no you're fine I mean I can't imagine what the planning for an yes. event of that size yes. we wanted to be sure that we engaged people who have been leaders here you know I'm I'm humbled I've only been here for for three years so mm -hmm. there's been leaders that have come before me that have been here for many 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 years and many mm -hmm. of you know you know we have Dr. George Hurt who's going to be here, yes. Dr. George Dawson. I know a fan fave, so he's going to be here <laughs> speaking. We have Carolyn Jakes, who not only is part of our foundation, she's actually foundation board chair, but she also has been intimately involved in planning. So just want to thank Carolyn oh, Jakes wow. for that as well. Yes. I and then we that. have Miss Diane Nash, who used to be the vice president of nursing here for a long time. Wow. So yes, it's, it's going to be a great That's event. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I love that. Well, and there's so many personal touch points there too. Just what you were saying earlier about how many things and how many people and how many stories are yes. kind of encapsulated here. To have yes. some of them come back yes. and share, that's going to be quite the celebration. So it's interesting that you said encapsulated because one of the things that we've been throwing around is the idea of a time capsule. Oh, I love that. And so when we have the event on July 11th, we're going to talk a little bit about what that's going to look like. But we want to come back in December and hopefully, if the ground's not too cold, have a bunch of memories oh, that we can bury as a time that capsule. That is such a great idea. To celebrate, yes, Aww. the end of the year. So I'm excited about oh, that. That is so much fun. Yes. When I think about all the things we're celebrating and all these people who are going to come and speak to their experiences, um, what are some of the very first experiences? I know in January we talked about so many firsts. Yes. Um, and we focus more on um, some specific people, but gosh, I can't even imagine. It's probably a huge amount of firsts that happen here. So what are some of them you can share with us? Absolutely. So we saw our very first patient on July 12th, 1924, and the first baby was born just three days later. Um, we actually opened up our first pharmacy um, in the city and the first pharmacy in the state in 1957. Oh, wow. The first intensive care unit, so that's a really big deal, yes. in 1962. Okay. And then all things baby. So, you know, we talked about over 150,000 births here. Yeah. So our first neonatal ICU, 1972, Dr. Peter Hawk. 
So that's oh, really yes. exciting. And we've talked a lot about Dr. Peter Hawk. Yes. So if you guys wanted to learn more about that, and even some of these first, you can check it out on the website. But he had a lot of firsts yes. tied to him. Yes, yes. All things neonatal intensive care. And you can also learn about him in the museum. There as you go. well. So you there's a lot of things the there. I'm yes. going for the first time today. So I'm Are excited. You? I haven't experienced it yet. Um, but yes, we're going to head in there today and just kind of take some pictures, get some footage. I'm looking forward to it. It's amazing. And, you know, I'm glad that you're going this month because this month is the celebration yes. of the museum. And I know that Kim has worked really hard. There's actually some new features in there, some actually okay. voiceovers and audio. So they're telling some stories. There's a beautiful mural oh. in there. So I think that that would be awesome that if you can go and yeah, see that. Yeah, absolutely. So also. Well, can sure. patients yes. go and view the museum? Yes. Okay, so how would how would they find it? Like, where is it located for it's, those who are listening? It's actually, and I know this this door is shut, but it's really if you just keep walking straight, it's it's right through there. It's right there. there. It's you right literally walk there. into. You literally it. can walk okay. right into. So that. is this considered the second floor if you're coming in from the Oak Vassar? I think it's the second floor because the first floor is that entrance mm -hmm. down by yeah, Oak so the main Vassar. coming in through the main entrance of the hospital. But we have a lovely group of volunteers that can help navigate. They're so you. kind. Yeah. Yes, yes. To, that, to it's so funny. That's where I start every single time, whether I'm at a LGH or at Bedford or I go immediately to the volunteer. And like, this is where I'm going. How do I get there? Because they <laughs> they're so knowledgeable. You know, also here before everything moved over to, to Lynchburg Journal, we had a very robust cardiac. Oh, I didn't know that. Program. So, yes, cardiac rehab started here in 1977. Wow. Um, we started our first echoes and a halter monitors in 1979. We had the first um, arthroscopic surgery. So, from an orthopedic standpoint, that was also one of the first here. Oh, wow. So, yes, I mean, this, this community has been blessed by so many things from Virginia Baptist over yeah. the years. And, again, I'm just just such an awe of being able to be, you know, a, a part of this. Yeah. The first cath lab, the first open heart surgery, Dr. David France, 1989. Oh, wow. Yes, right here in our area. Oh, mm -hmm. wow, that's incredible. Yes, yes, so that that is awesome. And then first center opened up in 1999, um, Baby Friendly in 2015, Neo One in 2019, and here we are in 2024, oh, celebrating goodness. 100 years. 100 years. It's hard to wrap your mind around. Yes. When you think about all it of is. that. Um, so what do you think is going to be the biggest takeaway for people as they kind of go on this journey with us from January to December, seeing all the like kind of highlights that we have shown them, um, or even for you, like what's yeah. been your biggest takeaway other than the fact that like, this is incredible. It is. <laughs> it's a little mind blowing. It is. It, it's just the pride. You know, when you have a, a hospital that has been here so much embedded into the community and, you know, this facility has changed people's lives. You know, yeah. as we were sharing, I mean, people have, have been born here. People have started their careers here. People yes. have retired here. This has just been a cornerstone for the community and you know as I've had the the pleasure of being able to serve you know as a, as a leader here for the past three years just the teamwork and the camaraderie I mean you you walk in the doors and you feel it yeah you know it, it's everyone wants to do the right thing for the right reasons you know yeah. we have high quality here there's just a sense of pride yeah yes and I and I just love it, it it's it's very unique and it's it's just such a just gem here for yeah. us I love that. And it's so interesting. So I've been with Center for three years now. And that is the, not the one thing, but probably the biggest thing as I talk to people from so many different facilities to some of our, our major hospitals, um, everyone has this sense of pride yes. that they just, they just feel very honored to be here. Um, and it, and it's very cool because you feel like you're stepping into something. You're now like a part of something yes. that's just so great. So, yes. um, well, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for sitting down and chatting with us about this. And, and thank you guys for listening. I hope that um, as you drive by, we all probably drive by on Rivermont so many times. Yes. Um, and it's, we, I take for granted what has happened here and what continues to happen here. And so head to our website at centralhealth.com and you can search VBH 100 or you can search Centennial and it'll take you to that page where we have a lot of these stories, 
that are listed there, some of the event information for our big celebration in July, um, and then also some details about the museum, which I know I'm excited to visit. Um, and so I hope that you guys will too. And is there anything else that you wanted to, that either I didn't ask you or anything you wanted to share? Sure. You know, I just wanted to thank personally Scott Thompson. He helped to lead all of these efforts. Aww. Carolyn Jakes, Kim Price, and Nadine Blakely, who's been a sponsor for us for this event. So again, thank you. It's been a team effort and we're really excited about all there is to come. So please join us. July 12th. We'll look forward to seeing you there. We're going to have great parking and shuttles coming along the way. And again, it's from 11 to 1. We'll have speakers from 11 to 1145. And then you can enjoy the museum for the rest of the time and, and have some hors d'oeuvres. Awesome. See you then. Thank you so much. And thank you all for joining us on and so much more.